Hello, welcome to the West Ham Way YouTube with myself, Mark Carlaw. So we're starting a new feature on the channel today. Um, it stems from our website where we do paper talk. Basically, we get snippets of all the information that's going on around the press, online, and just basically put it out there to fans and just as, you know, as a discussion point more than anything. Um, but we have been linked with quite a few players of late, which is expected. Um, at the end of the day, we, as we've stressed enough on this channel, um, if you want to get the facts and get the you know, the credible information that look no further than Patreon uh, from XWHU employee. Um, he will provide that. We've got the link below here. So, you know, do click on that if you're not a member. Um, honestly, it's, it's more than worth the money, only £5 a month. But in the meantime, we do have other features uh, running on this channel, on our website, and this being one, Paper Talk. So, um, firstly, we want to talk about Calvin Phillips. So, the Sun are reporting today that West Ham are back well in the race again for Phillips. Now, Personally, I'm not convinced in this. I don't believe we're ever really going to be we're going to be getting Phillips. Um, and the only reason I say that is I just think it seems a little bit out of our reach. Not only in terms of what we have to pay to get him, also to get the player to agree, the money that will be involved in terms of wages, and the fact as well who he's linked with. You know, I mean, I think Man City now um, are very much in the hunt for him. I think that's uh, as a replacement for Fernandinho. Um, so I think that's going to be a big stretch. However, I will say from a personal point of view, um, that that is the kind of player we need to be signing. If we if we want to be considered, you know, considered a top side now, if we want to be showing ambition that we've all been talking about, the lot, you know, if we want to be keeping Declan Rice, Bowen at the club, showing that ambition, then these are the players we need to be going for. You know, these are the players that if we're if we're going to show that ambition, then we've really got to go out there and do that. Although I would just say I think that considering who's after Phillips already, um, and the fact that you know, the money that would be involved to get him. I just think it'd be a little bit of a stretch for me. However, the Sun are reporting that we are back in with him. You know, we are in for him still. He is still a top target for the club. So it's going to be very interesting. Now, XWH employee recently in podcasts, um, I know he's going to be doing updates coming up soon. I, I always said that we're always interested in him. So I, I, it's, it's good that we are. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm really pleased that we are. I just hope this isn't going to be another drawn out um, saga where we sort of spending all summer trying to get a player that's just simply not going to be coming. Um, but you know, let's see how it pans out. It'd be interesting. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to need to bolster our midfield, so um, I can see us that being an area that we're going to be um, focusing on at some stage. But whether that's going to be Phillips and you know, if we're talking about getting Calvin Phillips at the club, let's be honest, it's going to be 70 80 million pound um, minimum, I think. So it's going to be very tough, very, very tough. Um, so Mohamed Bayo also from um, who's a striker from a place of Clermont in League One now. This is a player we've been linked with quite a few times. Um, it's actually one that really excites me. I think it's I think it's quite credible this one because it's quite well known that X has reported this previously, um, and he has been for months now that West Ham are very much interested in the French market. I think with the money situation going on out there, I think a lot of clubs are struggling. So it looks it, it sort of ties up that West Ham would want to exploit that. Um, you know, knowing our owners and wanting to take advantage of situations like that, which is you know, I've got no real problem with. So I think that that is a credible one for me. Um, he did quite well last season, 14 goals. You know, it, it, it did very well. He looks, a, he's a fast and powerful player. Also 23 years old. He fits the mould, uh, for, you know, as a, a Moyes type player. So, yeah, I think that would be one that we, you know, I'd want to keep an eye on. I, I gen we all know that our attacking options need boosting. I mean, we cannot keep relying on Antonio. It's, it's just ridiculous, you know, considering the fact, I, I think we got away lucky last season. The fact he didn't get injured, um, Really, you know, it was a miracle. So it's 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 a position we all know desperately needs sorting out. Um, I know that we're linked to a few others, um, but I think Bayo for me he he does excite me. Looking at what what he's done, I've seen him in a couple of games last season. I've looked at a few clips as we all tend to do, and I know that's kind of misleading to be fair on YouTube and things like that. Um, but he does look a decent player, powerful, fast, and I think that's kind of what we you know we want someone that's going to fit the Antonio mould. Um, and also his age as well just works really well for us. He's someone that, you know, he's young and he's not, you know, he can be moulded in a way we want him to play. So it's certainly one I think we should uh, keep an eye on. Uh, another one as well, that was reported, by the way, all in the French media for Bayo. So there's nothing over here just yet, but that does seem to be. And also as well, what worth adding with him, um, they're stating that the player himself has already said that he wants to now move on to another, a new challenge. So I think he is keen to go. Uh, Premier League's obviously, the, let's be honest, the number one, I would say, in the world. So you know, where we are in the league, that's sort of a plan. And, and also we're talking about the fee. I don't think the fee would be too out of our reach. We're sort of talking around the 15 million pound mark, I believe, around 15, 20. So I think that's something we can actually achieve. Um, it's interesting. It's an interesting one. Another one that was um, coming through today was from the Daily Mail. And this is someone we've been linked to quite a fair bit. 
is um, Dennis of Watford. I actually really like him. I think he's a really good player. He scored 10 goals last season in a side that got relegated from the Premier League. And I'm always, I always like getting another Premier League player in because I think you know what you're getting. Um, you get someone that knows the league, knows the defenders. It's not as if he's going to be out of his depth and not know how to cope or you, you, know, you take a bit of a gamble. Um, and, the, and the fact that Watford have been relegated, it does make you think, well, he, he could be available for a decent fee. You know, um, they're going to need the money. They're going to want to reinvest for next season in the championship. Um for me, it's a bit of a no-brainer because I don't think we should be looking for one striker. We want to be looking at, you know, we've got Antonio, of course, but I think we want to be looking for another top striker and then another rotation striker as well. Um, I think Dennis just fits that really well. Um, I think he'd be very good for us. Um, and also, you've got to consider location. You know, Watford, not, not a million miles away from East London. Um, so I, I don't think it'd be an issue. I, I think this is one for me that's a bit of a no-brainer. We should be exploiting this straight away and getting this deal done. Um, but I'm not sure how close that is. XWH employee, I'm sure, will provide an update on that. He is someone that X has always said, you know, we've, has been talking about, we've been linked with for quite some time. So, yeah, it's an interesting one, uh, Dennis. Um, one just before this as well, another striker, one that I'm really, I would love to see West Ham get over the line, would be Brozier of Chelsea. Obviously on loan last season at Southampton. I just think he'd be perfect for us. I think he's a powerful, you know, clearly very talented striker. And the fact that he's done it in the Premier League, done a very, very good job for Southampton and and being 20 years old, you know, it, it just be, I think just that, that's the kind of calibre of player we need to be going. And I think that's the kind of player as well that does show ambition. I know I was talking earlier about Calvin Phillips and yeah, be a little bit of a stretch for us, but Brozier would, would be a statement signing. You know, he's, he's a player a lot of clubs are interested in and that's one we should be really going all out for, for me. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see how who we've been linked with so far um, in this window and who, you know, who's going to be the credible ones. So out of basically what's come out today in the press, for me, I think the one that I would say in my gut feeling is most credible at the moment would be Dennis. Um, I just think that's a player that he ticks a lot of boxes for us. Um, and yeah, I'll be very, really pleased if we get that one over the line. It, it, you know, we, we desperately need to get a striker in this club. Um, I mean, the next few weeks are going to be very interesting. West Ham are obviously going to be very busy this summer. There's no two ways about it. And it'd be nice to see the club start making some moves early, get some get people through the door fast. We don't want to be starting the season with a paper thin squad. I think that's what something that really strikes fear into me that we do tend to take you know do our business quite late on in the windows. I think this has got to be one we can't we just can't afford to do that. We can't go starting the season with one striker again um, and with a depleted squad because let's be honest, we are selling players off now. You know, Noble just retired. Um, you know, we have to get some deals done. It does look like a word's going to be the first, I think, that's going to be confirmed. It looks like that way anyway, from what XWH employees have been saying for some time. Um, and also now the general press as well. It does seem to be that one that we are almost there, which would be fantastic. And of course, we've got Ariola as well, which seems to be the way we're going in terms of a goalkeeper. And hopefully that deal will be over the line soon. So, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts actually on this. So, yeah, please like, subscribe. And add some comments in below. We'll do an update again soon. And we'll also respond. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. I will read them. And then I'll answer them in the next video. I'll try my best anyway. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.